Hi students, this is Dr. Simit Rokde, Assistant Professor, Department of Botany, Lake Pune Lekragori Mahavidale, Shirpur Jain. Today, we will discuss on gene transfer. This is my first video gene tra on gene transfer. Gene transfer is a transfer of a gene from one cell to another. See, here in this slide, the two cells are talking with each other and what they are talking, they are talking to exchange of their gene. What actually happened in this? The directed desirable gene transfer from one organism to another and the subsequent stable integration and expression of foreign gene into <coughs> the genome is referred as genetic transformation. Stable transformation occurs when DNA is integrated into host genome and is inherited in subsequent generation. The transformed gene is known as transgene and the organism that develops after successful transfer is called as transgenic. There are three methods of gene transfer, physical method, chemical method and biological method. Physical and chemical method are also called as direct method or artificial method of gene transfer. They include some methodologies like microinjection, gene gun, electroporation, calcium phosphate, PDG, artificial lipids, etc. Whereas in biological or natural methods, bacteria, virus mediated, lipids and so on. We will talk here on this in this lecture on biological methods. First, we will see the D D uh, DNA transferred by natural method which includes conjugation, bacterial transformation and agrobacterial mediated gene transfer. The first method of DNA transfer naturally is conjugation. This method of DNA from one bacterium is uh, transferred to another via conjugation bridge. As you can see in this picture, a bacterium which has Yak plasmid, which is also called as fertility factor from conjugation breach with bacterium which lacks Yak plasmid. This DNA from bacterium having Yak plasmid can be transferred into the bacterium lacking Yak plasmid. Do you know this famous experiment of late 1920s? This famous experiment is called as Griffith experiment in which when he killed a strain of bacteria along with live R strain of bacteria was injected in mice and then the mice was found to be infected by both strain of bacteria. How could this happen? The answer lies in word transformation. It is uptake of DNA molecule by bacteria from the surrounding without any intermediate. Thus it is just a transfer of DNA molecule from one bacteria to another without any agency such as vector or physical connection. As we have seen in last slide that DNA can be transferred from one cell to another via breach without intermediate. There is one method in which DNA from one cell can be copied in another cell naturally through virus. This process is called as transduction. In transduction, DNA from one bacterium can be transferred to another by the bacteriophage. Bacteriophage is a virus that can infect bacteria. Now we will see agrobacterium mediated gene transfer. Actually, the agrobacterium to be passing is a soy born gram negative bacterium. It, in, it invades many dicot plants when they are injured at the soil level and causes crown gall disease. Let us see a look how they look like. Crown gall can look like this. This is actually a disease to a plant formed by infection of agrobacterium to be passing. <coughs> this agrobacterium is also called as natural genetic engineer because it has TI plasmid. This is a TI plasmid. Why was there is a seizure in the hand of bacteria in the previous slide? Because 
tDNA region can cut and new DNA can insert in it. It is a plasmid found in agrobacterium, a remarkable feature of the DNA plasmid, that is, after infection. A part of the molecule is integrated into the plant chromosomal DNA. This segment called the tDNA is between 15 to 30 kb in size depending on the strain. tDNA contains genes that express in the plant cell and are responsible for the cancerous properties of the transformed cell. These genes also direct synthesize a compound like opines that the bacteria uses as a nutrient. The wheel or virulence region of the TI plasmid contains the gene required for the tDNA transfer process. The genes in this region encode the DNA processing enzymes required for excision, transfer and integration of the tDNA segment. The TI region of any plasmid is defined by the presence of the right and left hand border sequences. These border sequences are 24 base pair in perfect repeats are. Any DNA between the borders will be transferred into the genome of the plant. The TI plasmid has an innate ability to transmit bacterial DNA into plant cell. The gene of a donor organism can be introduced into TI plasmid at tDNA region. This plasmid now becomes a recombinant plasmid. By agrobacterium infection, the donor gene can transfer from a, the recombinant TI plasmid and integrate it into the genotype of the host plant. Thank you all. If you have a query, please feel free to ask by commenting on this video, let me thank Mr. Yambi P.B. Imile and other my supportive uh, persons and all the Google platforms. You can suggest me a topic you would like to discuss on this platform. Meet you soon. Thank you.